Hi guys, today we are making a comparison of the crop factor and the depth of field between the APS-C sensor and the full frame sensor. Uh, for the comparison we are using the Sony cameras, so this is the Sony A6000 and the Sony A7 Mark II. First let's look at the sensors themselves. As you can see the as you can see the full frame sensor is much larger. APS-C sensor with the same mount doesn't even touch its borders while the full frame sensor really goes in. In fact the full frame size is 35.8 uh, by 23.9 and the APS-C sensor is 23.5 by 15.6 so the full frame sensor is actually 2.3 times larger than the APS-C sensor. Of course whether you like to use the one or the other is a matter of preference. There are pros and cons for each solution so with the smaller sensor you will get uh, slightly worse image quality while with the larger sensor you need more light. On the other hand you can just boost the ISO and have the same quality as on the smaller one. On the smaller one you have more zoom but on the bigger one you have more depth of field so it's really a matter of personal preference which one you use. Right now we're gonna put the camera on a lens one after the other and we'll see what the difference is. To do that we're gonna use the Sony 70 to 200 f4 lens. The reason for that is that it has a quite nice and convenient uh, tripod mount on the lens so we won't have to move around the setup that much when we change the cameras. Okay so this is our setting. <coughs> we have the lens here mounted on the tripod and first we're going to check the crop factor. So. I'm mounting the 86,000 right now and I'm at 70. So I'm gonna make a video of what I'm doing. So we are now at 70 and we are going to 200. Again, 70. And 200. So I'm giving you the numbers for the full frame lens. Of course, it's a uh, 105 to 300 equivalent for the full frame. Okay. Now we're gonna make two. No, we're gonna make some photos. So this is 70, 100, around 150, and 200. Okay, so now let's put the A7 Mark II on and do the same starting with the video. So this is 70 for the full frame, as you can see field of view is much larger, you can see the barrier from my balcony and everything, 70 and 200, again 70 and 200 and now let's do the photos, so this is 70 a hundred, hundred and fifty, and two hundred. All right, now let's look at the photos one after the other and see what the difference in the crop factor is. Okay, so this again is 70 on a full frame, then the 70 on an APS-C sensor, and then the two combined so you can see how the crop factor plays out between the two. And now we're going to do the same thing for the 200 focal length. 